everybody, I'm Miss Alicia from the Trustful Public Library and welcome to today's virtual story time. This week's theme is all about the zoo. We're going to sing a few songs today and you'll hear a story with the title of The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright. I hope you enjoy today's story. We'll start off by singing a song called, We Went to the Zoo One Day. We went to the zoo one day, zoo one day, zoo one day. We went to the zoo one day, and this is what we saw. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it's a snake. We went to the zoo one day, zoo one day, zoo one day. We went to the zoo one day, and this is what we saw. Ooh, I see it's something very colorful. It's a parrot. Oh, oh. Very good. We went to the zoo one day, zoo one day, zoo one day. We went to the zoo one day, and this is what we saw. Oh, it's another bird, but it's black and white. It's a penguin. <laughs> we went to the zoo one day, zoo one day, zoo one day. We went to the zoo one day, and this is what we saw. Oh, this is a big animal. It's a hippo. Oh, look at its great big teeth. We went to the zoo one day, zoo one day, zoo one day. We went to the zoo one day, and this is what we saw. Oh, it's black and white and has stripes. It's a zebra. <laughs> Great job, everybody. All right, this next song is called Monkey See, Monkey Do. Let's see if we can find, oh, there he is. There's the monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ee, 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 ee. Monkey see, monkey do. Little monkey at the zoo. Monkey, monkey in the tree. Can you jump around like me? Very good. Monkey see, monkey do. Little monkey at the zoo. Monkey, monkey in the tree. Can you swing from side to side like me? Good, try swinging your arms. Yay! Monkey see, monkey do. Little monkey at the zoo. Monkey, monkey in the tree. Can you scratch an itch like me? Good job! Monkey see, monkey do. Little monkey at the zoo. Monkey, monkey in the tree. Can you eat a banana like me? Great job! All right, now we're ready for our story. The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright. In a place where the animals ran wild and played free, there was a koala named Kevin who clung to a tree. Kevin was the nicest great fellow you would ever meet. And he was as soft as soft a thing could be from his ears to his feet. Kevin loved clinging to the tree. His, it was his favorite way to relax in the sun, and he loved taking naps and eating leaves. <laughs> Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best, so that's why he stayed up high in the tree because it was safe, and he loved a slower pace than all the other animals. The ground down below was a frightening place to Kevin. 
because all of those other animals that lived on the ground below him were too fast and too loud and they were too big and it was too strange. It just frightened Kevin and Kevin would shake and he cling to the tree. Kevin did not want to move and he didn't want to change. So he clung to the tree as long as he could. And then one day, one of the animals from the ground below asked Kevin. They said, Kevin, Kevin, why don't you come down from your tree and play with us? Oh no, I think I should stay up here where it's nice and safe. I'll just stay up here for right now. Oh, there's nothing to fear, Kevin. Oh, you should try playing with us. I think you would like it. No, I've got clinging to do, said Kevin. Adventure can wait. And Kevin just couldn't let go of that tree. And he clung and clung as tightly as he could. And then one day, there was a bird that flew by. Caw, caw, caw. And then that bird joined Kevin up in that tree. And there was a tap, 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 tap. Oh no! And the other animals that were frightened for Kevin, they said, Kevin, unclean from the tree. Let go, leap, and we'll catch you. But Kevin wouldn't let go. He still clung to the tree. Let go? No, I can't let go, said Kevin. And then all of a sudden, that tree was wobbling this way and that. And down came the tree with Kevin still clinging to it. Oh, no. Well, then... Kevin came down to the ground and he joined the other animals and he looked all around and he said, oh, this doesn't feel like such a frightening place after all. And Kevin became happy and he was very bold and brave. And he joined all of these friends without worry and he said, you know what? The next time someone asks me if I want to play, I'm going to say, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin, from then on, became a can-do koala because life can be great when you try something new. And that was the story of the koala who could by Rachel Bright. And we're going to end story, to time, story time today with another song. And this is If You're Happy and You Know It. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, be a monkey. If you're happy and you know it, be a monkey. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, be a monkey. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, be a bear. Grrr. If you're happy and you know it, be a bear. Grrr. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, be a bear. If you're happy and you know it, be an elephant. If you're happy and you know it, be an elephant. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, be an elephant. If you're happy and you know it, be a mouse. Squeak! If you're happy and you know it, be a mouse. 
If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, be a mouse. Squeak! Thank you for joining me today for virtual story time. We hope to see you at Storytime in the Park on Thursdays at 9.30 or 10.30. And be sure to come by the library to get your Storytime at Home kit. Bye, everybody.